wasn't properly diagnosed until about age 13 or 14. Um, before that, they had thought that I had Proteus syndrome, which is actually another syndrome that falls under the pros conditions. So it's similar. It's just not exactly what I had, but it took until I was about 13 or 14 to get like an actual correct diagnosis. So I do have an overgrown right leg and foot, um, abnormal like size uh, toes on both my feet. Um, I have lipomatous tissue that starts in my left abdomen that kind of wraps up into my upper back, um, as well as uh, vascular malformations and foliosis. And I used to have like a birthmark on my side that has since been removed. And I actually also have a larger and a smaller kidney, which hasn't caused issues so far, but um, that's most of, that's kind of what I have. Um, so I have had a decent amount of surgeries. When I was younger, they actually stopped the growth in my right foot and leg, uh, hoping that it would stop the growth and even my legs out, which um, it did even my legs out. I used to have uneven legs and it, they ended up becoming even after the surgeries, but that was a course of four surgeries over time. Um, I also have had um, abdominal resections to remove the life mass tissue in that area. And I had my birthmark removed, like I said, um, we did try liposuction before, like to try to get some of the tissue out, but the type of tissue that we have actually can't be like liposucked. Um, so that's, that's why we did like the um, abnormal or the, um, the abdominal resections. Um, I've also gotten sclerotherapy, which is an interventional radiology procedure um, on my upper left back with my um, left metastasis tissue but it didn't really do a lot for me. But that's mostly the procedures and surgeries that I've had over time.